Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name is Doug and you are watching a tutorial on how to make small breasts become larger uh, using Photoshop. Uh, before I get started, this, or this video is going to be uh, a bit uh, mature, so if you have any kids around you, uh, ask them to please leave. Uh, okay, so now that the kids have left, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find an image of a girl who has small breasts. Now um, after you do that you bring the image into Photoshop and you duplicate the layer. Okay and then after you uh, duplicate the layer what you're going to want to do is you want to go to filter and then you go to liquify. Alright and here are all the options that you can do. The brush size, uh, density should be around the same as mine. Uh, pretty much all that's the same. And what we're going to do is we are going to use the bloat tool. And what you want to do is hit this button to make it smaller or this button to make it bigger. And you want to go around each breast. Um, uh, you want it to be about that size. And you can click a couple times or you can just hold. Let's make um Okay. So let's just say that that starts it out. Now what you're going to want to do is either you can go over here and you can change the brush, si uh, brush size uh, or you can hit the buttons that I explained to you earlier. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go and uh, fill these things out a little bit more and make them stand out a bit more. And okay, let's just say that we want this girl to have this size of breast. I'm never going to get uh, tired of saying breast, 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 breast. All right, so um, this was before. Actually, let's zoom in. Not that far. Okay. So um, this was before, and uh, that was after. And now if you want to make these things uh, more realistic, you can go over here to the burn tool. And uh, you can change the settings uh, for mid-tones, 20% exposure, and then take unclick this right here for protect tones. And what you're just want you're gonna want to go over the shading that's already there, and just add a little bit uh, of shading to make this uh, look more realistic. All right, and then what you're gonna want to do is go to the dodge tool, and all the settings are the same except for that you have this clicked, and uh, you can go in and just lighten other stuff up to make it a little bit more uh, clear, make it look smoother. And so that's just a simple tutorial. Uh, once again, this is uh, how we started with, or what we started with, and this is after. If you guys um, have any um, feedback, please leave that. If you have any ideas for a next video, leave a comment or contact me on Twitter at when I'm busy. Uh, I will make any video you guys want. Let's try to make, I, I want to keep it to the uh, basics first. I don't want to get into like movable videos and just, just crazy stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. I'm trying to uh, blow this channel up. And um, my name is Doug and thank you guys for watching.